Greetings everyone, once again it's Motam 1 Eddie sharing the authentic truth brought to us by Zulu last time. Before I begin, I'd like to thank Loba, the only unique creator to have allowed us to know the truth in this time, in this era. So here the teaching I'm about to share in English is going to be the continuation, so part two of the road of the great mystery, and in bracket is going to be regarding the resurrection and the judgment. So <clears throat> for that we shall go into the current classical day bible and i will also use some verse in bibel kalatambali the only authentic bible without any errors or contradictions that i will be <clears throat> translating in english but here first we sh we go we will go in daniel chapter 12 verse 2 it says many of those whose body lies dead and buried will rise up comma so here is regarding the people that have died because there's many people out there that maybe have lost someone who have passed away without knowing the truth, without knowing the authentic truth that I'm sharing here that was brought to us by Zul And what does happen to them after they die and where will they go after they are resurrected? And that's what we're going to dive into here because there's many misconceptions, many people, fake pastors will say that no, uh, if someone dies, without knowing the Christ, uh, automatically he will be uh, he'll be going to, to hell, suffering, and so on. I've already made shared the teaching regarding regarding hell and uh, the suffering. But here it says that many of those whose body lies dead and buried will rise up. So now he says many of those. So it's not it doesn't say all people will rise up. At the end, he says here in the current classical day Bible, many of those, because we know that there are some people that did not die, that were elevated, that, that were risen, that were taken in the great order of things. Now he says, comma, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting disgrace. So. But we know that there are people, because here it says, many of whose body lies dead and buried. But we know that there are some people that maybe they were not buried. Maybe they were incinerated. Maybe they died in the ocean. Maybe they, the animals have he eaten them and they're inside the animal or in the remains in the animal they were transformed and so on. For example, uh, if somebody was in, ex in an explosion and all his body cells were evaporated. For you, for you, maybe you won't be able to see what happened to his cells, what happened to his molecule, and so on. But nevertheless, it's still, it is still, they are still in the visible. <clears throat> and what will happen to that person? In the current classical day Bible, in John chapter 5, verse 28, he says this, do not, do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their grave will hear his voice. So here we talk about those who will go to the judgment. <clears throat> and because there's a different category of people. There's a category of people that believe in the truth, that are in the truth, in the manifestation of the grace, that accept the, pre, the, um, the law and obey the commandment and follow um, the second and also the, the first, the second born and the first born, and follow the verb of Loba. That's one category of people that will not take part in the judgment. But then there's a different category of people that don't believe, that maybe that don't share the same belief as we do, and are in other sort of form of religions, the Christian, and so on, or other sort of beliefs. And those are the people that will go to the judgment. <clears throat> so, so it's, and that judgment is for those, basically, like I've mentioned, who don't have the faith. And, and to be saved, you need to be in the truth. When you're in the truth, you need both. You need the faith and you also need the deeds, meaning the good works. 
Now, the other category of people that at the resurrection, they will go to the judgment and they will they will be judged according to their works, their deeds, because they don't have the faith in the true creator, in the true doctrine. They are in other form of beliefs and religions. <clears throat> so in John chapter 5, verse 29, it says, And come out, those who have done what is good will rise to live, come out, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. Condemned. Uh, and in New Living Translation, it says, And they will rise again, period. Those who have done good will rise to experience eternal life, comma. And those who have continued in evil will rise to experience judgment. <clears throat> so, those people who will face the judgment, those are the people who are out there uh, partying, do living life as if uh, there is no consequences to their action, and so on. Uh, the, even the so-called Christian out there, yes, you who go every maybe every Sunday to the church and you claim you love uh, the so-called fake Jesus, you will also, if you don't um, renounce that way you will also go to the judgment because you are worshiping a false idol and you will be judged according to your deeds, according to you, to your work. So you out there, if you, you say, no, you, for example, you're a Christian and you say, no, you believe and whatever you do, it doesn't matter. It's only the faith that will save you. No, you are mistaken. It's the faith in the truth. And it's also the works, the deeds. So if you fornicate to do any other type of <clears throat> other sin in uh, other type of sin, you will face the judgment of your action. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 35, he says, But someone may ask, how will the dead be raised? Question mark. What kind of body will they have? question mark so that's the interrogation that many many people may have which body will those people that are resurrected at the end of the days at the end of time which body will they have because like i've mentioned if a person for example is buried okay that person is resurrected now what happened to the person maybe uh that was in a in an explosion for example uh in a, in the blast of an atomic bomb what will happen to that person? Because for you, with your visible eyes, you may say, no, uh, he was disinte the, uh, disintegrated. So there's no cells, nothing left. But you have to understand that the particles are still in the visible, are still there. And those are the ones that will be reconstructed. Because Hebrew 4.12 says in the current classical day Bible, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even dividing souls, soul and spirit, joint and marrows. It judges the thought and attitude of the heart, of the heart, earth, of the heart. Now, that means the, the word of the creator, the verb, has the ability to reconstruct even what is unperceivable for you <clears throat> so it is those particles even if a person uh, died uh, thousands and thousands of, year of years ago and there, there's basically for your understanding you don't see anything left of that person the verb of loba has the power to reconstruct so to rise up again that person that body Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 6, he says, I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I'm the Lord. This is according to the current classical day Bible. And I'm using this verse here to demonstrate to you uh, also another aspect of what will happen. So the body will be reconstructed. That's why it says here that I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come up on you and cover you with skin. So the body will be reconstructed. 
for you to face the judgment. <clears throat> Here in the teaching, we won't uh, talk in depth about the people that will be saved because that's a category of people that if you follow the teaching that I'm sharing, the teaching of Zulu Lassan, the teaching of the verb of Loba, and you are graced, you won't, be, you won't go to that judgment. You will automatically be saved uh, if, you, if you die in the manifestation of the grace. And so here we're going to focus on the judgment and resurrection of the other category of people. So what many people will, will say, the heathen, the pagans, and so on. Now, in Revelation chapter 20, verse 13, in the New International Version, it says, The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and dead and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they have done. So here you're told that the sea gave up the dead, because we know, like I've mentioned, it's not everybody that, were, that was buried. Other people died in... Um, on the seas, in the ocean, and so on, in other form, other type of ways, different type of ways. That's why it will also mention the seas, give up the dead that were in it. And you're told, dead and the Hades. So now the Hades is the state of the dead. That's where you go, where they will go when, they, when you die. And I've already made a teaching, that I've already shared a teaching regarding that. And so that stay of the dead, that, those people that were sleeping in it, because I gave, like I've mentioned, I've, I've shared that. They will wake up from their, from their sleep, from their rest. And that's why they will come up from the Hades, the stay of the dead. <clears throat> and each person was judged. So according to what? they had done. You see? So any pastors or any other type of uh, fake teachers out there or other type of book that will claim, no, if you don't, if you die in maybe, let's say, uh, in um, the wrong religion, according to them, automatically you will go to hell, suffer, no. Those people who don't share the true faith will be judged according to their deeds. Now, someone may, may ask then, okay, so if we are judged according to our deeds, does that mean you can reject the teaching we are sharing here, reject um, the teaching that Zul Lassan is, given, is giving, and then just go to the judgment and be saved through your deeds. <clears throat> the, the fact that you're hearing uh, the teachings the, that we are sharing, already you have no excuse because you, you won't have an excuse for you to reject uh, the teachings. If you reject the teachings, that's also a bad deed. You see? <clears throat> so, in John chapter 5, verse 24, it says, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. So, you see, the people that believe the word of Zulu of the first and of the second, the verb of Loba, who put faith in, in those words and it's not only the faith it's also the deeds so don't say no you accept what Zul Lassan says and then you're gonna go left and right uh, I don't know sleep with women and so on just live your life lie uh, mm, um, scam people and so on that just because you've accepted that means you can do anything no it's accepting that's the faith and it's also the deeds the work meaning obeying the commandment and sanctification 
So that's why it says, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. So that person who accept the verb, put it in practice, has eternal life. And will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. So the people that will be judged, that's the other people that haven't accepted Now, in the current classical day Bible, it says in Matthew 25, verse 31, When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. Verse 32, All the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate the people one from another, as shepherds separate the sheep from the goat. Verse 33, So you're told here that, at the end of at the end of time there will be a judgment and there will be a throne and in the current class of the bible it says that the son of man will come in his glory now the question i shall ask you is are those people who are in judgment are they going to see the son of man are they going to see the firstborn are they going to see the christ in his glory question mark because i know it says here that they will see that uh, no all the nation will be gathered before him and when the son of man come in his glory and all the angel and all the angels with him he will sit on his glorious throne you see does that mean they're going to see him no they cannot see him because <clears throat> those who are in judgment we know that among them some of them will be judged guilty right so that means they are not worthy of seeing the firstborn in his glory and we shall reveal exactly what happened what will happen in the judgment in bibel kalatambali but here i'm just using the current class of the bible to just try to show you what they say and explain to you um according to the current class of the bible first and he says, all na the nations will be gathered before him. So all those nations are the people that don't believe. So they will have, they will be a multitude of people. Many, many people. From the beginning of time, those people that didn't believe up until the end. So there will be many, a multitude of people. <clears throat> And verse 33 says, Matthew 25, 33. And indeed, he will set the sheep on his right hand and the goat on his left. So that's according to the current classical Bible. <clears throat> but he says, he will put the righteous. So the sheep will represent the righteous people at his right and the other at his left. So they will, they will be separated in different groups. And who are the righteous? Because we know that the people that walk according to the verb of Lopa are righteous. But now we're talking about the righteous in that judgment. So that means the righteous among those who did not believe. <clears throat> so maybe, for example, you, if you had someone who passed away, well, I will just use uh, some example in generalities for example let's say a person uh, don't who did not know the truth didn't share the faith but was a good person meaning he didn't lie didn't steal didn't kill people um, didn't fornicate didn't you see didn't do all those was trying to live life um, and help others be good just try to be a good person even though he did not uh, he was in the wrong faith in, uh, for example, all those other religions. But he still had the moral law. The moral law. And in his life was walking according to the moral law and wasn't disobeying, meaning uh, per, um, on purpose, voluntarily, didn't kill or do any other type of um, sinful things and tried to help as many people as he could or maybe when he tried when he saw somebody in help 
um, when he saw somebody in need, he was helping that person. Well, that person, if he goes to the judgment, even though his fate is not the correct one, because of his deeds, because of his work, because of what he did, that person will be a righteous and he will be saved. <clears throat> now, it says here, in, and you can see that as well in, um, I will go in Daniel 7, 9, regarding the judgment. It says, as I look, thrones were set in place and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as the snow. The hair on his head was white like wool. So he had an afro. He was black. That's the firstborn. <clears throat> his throne was flaming with fire and his will were all ablaze. Verse 10. So Daniel chapter 7 verse 10. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousand upon thousand attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. So you see, it was <clears throat> uh, in, in the judgment, during the judgment, there will be a, a court. So that will be set in place and there will be spiritual entities there that will be there. Now, who will have the ability to see those entities? Will the people that will face the judgment, will they see them? Question mark. We shall answer it in Bibel. <clears throat> While reading Bibel. Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, it says, And I saw the dead, great and small. Great and small. Now, what is great and small? Many people will think that, no, that means he saw old people and then also young people. No. It's not, when he says small, it's not regarding young people meaning children because a children uh, a little kid for example a baby maybe a baby or um, let's say a baby that were premature, uh, premature meaning he was born early and died right away those people will not face those type of people the kids the children the baby newborn they won't be in judge they won't face the judgment you see so is i saw the dead great and small standing before the throne and books were open now what why what are those book then another book was open what is that other book was open because it says books were open and then another book which is the book of life and the dead were judged but by what was written in those books, according to what they had done. You see? So, <clears throat> this is also um, a, a warning, because here we are informing you of what will take place. So, you out there who maybe every... <clears throat> who go out... Uh, sleep left and right, fornicate, lie, steal, you see, you will be judged for your action. Even if a person who will claim to be a believer and they will say, no, uh, it's only the faith that, that counts, and he'll try to seduce woman or a woman will try to seduce another man by saying, no, it's only the fate that counts, that matters, not the deeds. Or, and then they go, they fornicate, they do bad deeds, evil deeds, sinful ways, and so on. They are living in, in sin. Those are the type of people that will face the judgment. And so, like I've mentioned, those judgments, they will be separated in two. In Jeremiah 17, 10, it says, the Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. You see? So amongst that group of non-believers, and who are those non-believers? 
they will be judged according to their deeds. <clears throat> because in Galatians chapter 6, verse 5, he says, For every man shall bear his own burden. Amplified Bible, for every person will have to bear, in bracket with patience, his own burden, in bracket of fault and shortcomings, for which he alone is responsible. You see, so everyone will be, uh, <clears throat> will be responsible of their action. So you, for example, out there will say, no, it is this woman who has seduced me. No, you will be responsible for your action. You won't be blaming others. No, it's because of this person. It's because of this person. Even when we take the current classical day Bible regarding Adam and Eve, when Adam, um, according to the current classical day Bible, he had uh, disobeyed and ate the forbidden fruit, he said it was because of the woman. But was he not punished as well? He was. He also faced the consequences of his action because he was also responsible. So that's why <clears throat> everyone will be responsible for their action, for their bad deeds. In Job chapter 34, verse 11, it says, He repays everyone for what they have done. He brings on them what their conduct deserve. <clears throat> so, this is also to say to stop putting fear into people that, no, you will go, you'll suffer because you don't believe, because you are in, the, in another faith, and so on. No. Matthew 25, verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed of my father, who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. So you see, the kingdom is also for those who practice righteous act. Because we know in Hebrew 1, 9, it says, You love justice and ha hate evil. So those people who practice justice, they are obeying the law. They are following the moral law. And that's a spiritual law when they help the people in need and when i say help i'm not talking about i'm not mentioning i'm not talking about the people that will help they, they'll say give donations and then at the same time they'll call the media to come and see fail them film them and to try to um to try to show themselves as as a good person you see because they are already having their um, re recompense they're already having their <clears throat> what they deserve because what they want is just to be accepted to be like um, by the others you see I'm not talking about those type of people that that will help one way and then another in another way they will they will uh, hurt other people you see because there's some some people out there that uh, are organizations that will act like they help and at the same time they will fund the war and they will do other type of bad deeds as well so those are not the type of people uh, that I'm mentioning here so <clears throat> in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17 he says whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done now when he says lend to the Lord yeah, that's according to the current classical Bible. But we have to understand here that people that help and do righteous deed, they will be rewarded for it. And in Matthew chapter 5, verse 20, it says, For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees. Now, now he says, for I tell you, unless your righteousness. And so now we're talking about a category of people. Unless your righteousness surpasses that 
of the Pharisees. So the Pharisees, those are people that were going, that were rebellions. They represent people that rebel against the law that will knowingly and consciously, they will try to fight um, the, they will try to fight um, the people that will spread the truth. And they will try to hurt them in the hurt them in their path and so on. And they will try to contradict and so on. <clears throat> and you will certainly not enter the kingdom of, of heaven. And we know so those were the Pharisees and the scribes. That's a different category of people. But this is to say that. <clears throat> The righteous deeds has a great importance. Even for those who are in the truth. Especially for those who are in the truth. Because they are aware of the good and the bad. And they are conscious of of what they're doing because they're not ignorant of the truth of the law of the commandment Isaiah chapter 61 verse 80 says for I the Lord love justice and hate robbery and wrongdoing in my fit faithfulness I will reward reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them so the fathers the father know how to take into account the time of ignorance. And the time of ignorance, when you're listening to the teaching, you're no longer in, in ignorance. So, the truth is being shared. You don't have an excuse. So, those who do the right things will be justified by their deeds. And what about the others that die in their sin, do wrong things all the time, where would they go? <clears throat> so that was regarding the judgment. That was uh, an introduction, I will say like that, because I used the current class of the Bible to, to show that there will be a judgment according to the deeds for the non-believer, for the nations other nations meaning the people that don't believe in the truth now <clears throat> i will use i will go into bibel to reveal exactly in detail with bibel now he says regarding um the body of the person the body of the resuscitated the of the risen for that we will go in Esombe, so that's Paul in the current classical day Bible. So Esombe chapter 26 verse 17, he says, But someone will say, How are the dead raised? And with what body will they return? Question mark. And to answer, we shall go in Kundumane Mula, which is Jokisabe, so the the Gospel of Christ, chapter 28, verse 19, he says, In truth, in truth, I say to you, the known will hear my word, and who believes he who sent me will have longila bundia, in bracket, eternal life. So the people who are known, those <clears throat> People who are known, because there is the known in in the sense of they know the truth, and there's also the other type of known but unknown to them, that when they die they will go to the judgment, but they will be saved. <clears throat> the known will hear will hear my word, and who believe he who believes who sent me will have longila buidea in bracket eternal life. So the known are the people that believe in the truth. 
and walk according to the verb of loba, meaning they put in practice what they've learned as well. And will not come in judgment. Now you're told that, so the people, the believers, they will not go to judgment. Like I've mentioned, I've used the current class of the Bible to already state that fact, but now I'm using Bibel to truly reveal. So the believe now is referring to the believers. And will not come in judgment, comma, but he will have passed from death to life. So those who accept the word, those who accept um, the teachings of Zul Hassan and put them in practice. Verse 20, in truth, in truth, I tell you, the hour has already come when the uninitiated. Now, who are the uninitiated? You have to understand now that they are different categories of people. They are the uninitiated. Those are black people that don't know the truth. That, And there's also uninitiated, rebellious uninitiated. Those are the ones who listen and rebel and reject and knowingly go against the law. So there's the uninitiated. Those are black people. There's also the graced uninitiated. Those are the ones who listen to the truth, accept, and change. And there's also the initiated. And the initiated are those in the initiated or those who know the truth and are initiated in uh, the forbidden knowledge. <clears throat> and now he says, I tell you, I tell you, I in truth, in truth, I tell you, the hour has already come when the uninitiated, so those are black people who are uninitiated, from other territories of the continent, where, where I have not yet been, will spiritually hear the voice of the two through the intermediary of the word. Those known will have heard and accepted, accepted it, will leave. Verse 21, For as Tete, the Father, manifested life, so through him the Word and the two, the two mysterious Son, also manifest life in their turn. Verse 22, <clears throat> he says, Uh, I'll go in verse 23. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when all the whites, so now it's the, the other race, white and mixed bloods who have tasted, comma, and who will taste spiritual death. So those whites and mixed blood, the other race who have died previously, who have tasted spiritual death, will wake up by the power of the word, not in the visible. Then, so they will wake up, but it won't be in the visible. Then we'll spiritually hear the voice of the mysterious entities in charge of conscious judgment, and will come out of it. Verse verse 24, during judgment, comma, those in bracket white and mixed blood who are not found worthy of being initiated by the entity known as the tree of life, the tree of the tree of life, the sus substantial principle of life will be cast into the well of eternal oblivion on the first level after receiving the non-visible punishment of punishment in torment of torment. So, you see, Jokisabe is revealing what will happen to the others who are not found 
worthy. And those who are not found worthy are the ones who practice evil deeds, that don't practice righteous acts, even though they are in other fake faiths. Now, I will go into <clears throat> I will go into Revelation Baby CD. So in Bibel, the only authentic Bible without any error or contradiction. Chapter 20, starting from the verse 12 until verse 20. He says, So Baby CD, Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12 to 20. The title is The Last Judgment. It says, so that was uh, Lucky Sabe, knowing the current classical day Bible as John, who was seeing those things. The vision, through the vision. He says, Then I saw several Jopele Bipiti, thrones, supreme powers. So those are spiritual entities. Alimented, alimented, alimented by the great all and the mysterious entities in charge of conscious judgment which were between them so there were a multitude of entities the jopalebipiti supreme powers and also the mysterious entities in charge of conscious judgment each of the mysterious entity in charge of conscious judgment represent the opposite of the sin committed by each accused, period. So, each of the mysterious entities in charge of conscious judgment represent the opposite of the sin committed by each accused, period. Thus, the hurt, the earth, and the universe visible so that's the visible earth and universe for those of the visible disappeared from the visible in front of their face and no place was found for them anymore verse 13 the dead who were thrown are crema cremated and those who died in the seas and oceans came back to life, comma, through a secret passage of the Mundi Makwedi, which is the state of the dead. Verse 14. And I saw the dead, the big and the small, colon, the whites and the, the mixed bloods, who stood before the Jubilee BPT, throne supreme powers. So that's a category of people, the whites and the mixed bloods, the other race. Who stood before the Jubilee BPT, so they stood before the throne, the supreme powers, the spiritual entities. Without, without them, so without the white and the mixed blood, without them being able to see them. So they were not, they were, they were unable to see the Jopeli BPT, the supreme powers, those spiritual entities. They couldn't see them. Witness entities from the great order of things made their appearances. Made their appearance. In bracket, books were opened, period. And the entity known as the tree of life, as the tree of life, comma, the substantial principle of life, or the substantial principle of lives, also made his appearance. In bracket, another book was opened, which is the book of life, end of bracket, period and the dead in bracket now this is a category of dead of the people that died 
and the dead in bracket white white and mixed bloods were judged according to their works according to what was written in those books so the other race will be judged according to what was written in the books so they were judged by <clears throat> the witness entities from the great order of things and verse 15 he says the uninitiated so that's black people that are not in the truth that were in other sort of faiths other form of religions fake religions that did not um, believe and that accepted false doctrines those are the uninitiated black people so that's a different category so those black people they were judged by the initiates in chief and the initiate in chiefs uh, those are the people like the prophets um, and so on so those are the chief initiates and the uninitiated so black people were judged and we know that the initiates are also black people so basically it means that the uninitiated black people are uninitiated they are judged by those who are initiated in chiefs and those are still black people so black people are being judged by initiated chief initiated black people the other race are judged by according to what was written in the books verse 16 it says the the animals as well the animals as well were as well as all animal life so it is the animal and all animal life and life form formally issued from the visible judge of their action in their conscious state so even the animals and all life form physical they were judged according to their action according to what they did in their conscious state verse 17 the initiated so the initiates and the graced uninitiated were not judged they were not judged and it makes sense because they are already the initiated they've initiated they're in the truth and they are they already have good deeds they don't need to go to the judgment and the graced uninitiated they are graced i mean they already received the manifestation of forgiveness for their previous life action when they were because grace uninitiated basically they become new new creatures <clears throat> verse 19 he says and the dead and munzimakwedi stay of the dead disappeared into the known existence period verse 20 anyone among men who was not approved by the entity known as the tree of life the substantial principle of lives book of life was cast into the well of eternal oblivion at the at the first level after having received the non visible punishment of punishment in torments of torments so that was the judgment and so the resurrection and the judgment part two all glory to loba the only and unique creator